So there was this guy in my class that always looked mad. Like his resting face was kind of like his eyes are squinting. You know when you're looking at the sun, it's really bright outside. You're always like, you know, you just look like you just woke up or something. That's basically what his resting face always was. And bro, I just constantly judged him for being this like dangerous, scary guy kind of thing. I, I was like, bro, this guy thinks he's so tough, bro. Who does he think he is doing this? I was constantly visualizing me fighting this guy. Literally, I was like, how would this go down? I'd, I'd, I'd beat his ass, bro. I'd beat his ass, bro. Who do, you, who do you think he is looking all mad and shit, bro? Then in class one day, he puts up his hand to answer a question the teacher is asking. And he speaks. All assumptions that I had about him, all my judgment, all my like visualizing that this guy was some fucking tough, trying to be tough guy, it all vanished. He spoke like he was sophisticated. I mean, he projected his voice in a nice way. He didn't seem like this try to be tough type person that I was thinking of that I assumed him to be. And this happens a lot. I mean, every time you look at someone, you just assume these things and then you know, next thing you know, you find out who they really are and they're actually this person that's completely different than what you assumed about them. And I think being judgmental is a huge problem that we see everywhere. Everyone's judgmental, especially you go in school and it's like, you know you're constantly being judged. People are just staring at you like friend groups looking all tough and shit. Like you're judging them. Like who do they think they are? Like this guy, like he's probably a fucking loser. Look at him. He's so small. He, he doesn't know anything. He's just a loser. The kid, he, he's so smart. Play, plays video games all day. We judge so much and everyone does. And it's kind of a shame. Now sometimes our assumptions, our judgments, they are true, but sometimes they're false. Like for my example, it was false that I looked at this mad looking guy as someone to be you know one of your typical try to act tough goon type of guys but what does it matter had i assumed anything or not assumed the outcome's the same he is this probably sophisticated person that again i am somewhat assuming but i have heard his voice i mean you can make a pretty good judgment from there the outcome is the same whether you think of someone this way or not you predict how they're gonna be it doesn't matter so there's a strategy that I use to refrain yourself from judging anyone that you choose. Now what this strategy has done for me is actually made me able to not get, it just waste my time thinking about others and get emotionally attached to the judgment thoughts, the judgmental thoughts that I'm getting on other people. Like sometimes I get anxious when I see this big guy and oh, I'm thinking, oh, he's probably really scary. He's trying to beat my ass. He, he probably has some weapons on him or something. When you just set all that shit aside, you don't get these thoughts and you have a much clearer mind. Another thing it's made, made me able to do is made me more open-minded. I've been able to open myself to seeing people, to hearing what others have to say for themselves and gathering more ideas for myself. So the strategy is really simple. What it is, is just say to yourself, every time you catch yourself judging anyone or assuming anything, just say, wait. I don't even know this person at all. I mean, this person could be like, okay, say the person was this mad looking guy. Yeah, sure, he could be this guy who vapes, who probably goes to the gym three times a week and thinks he's so fucking tough. But he could also be just a really smart guy. You don't know. He could be smart. He could be like really trying to do things. He could be calm. Your next friend that he's actually a really good person. He's very determined. He may have the same values, interests as you. Maybe not, maybe not. He's maybe he's a Roblox player. Maybe he's maybe he looks mad because he just went through something. Maybe his mom just died. I don't fucking know. You don't know these things. I know. He's human. I know he could be anything. So why assume? Now you might be thinking, well our judgment can help us avoid these people that might actually be dangerous. Sure. I mean if someone actually looks like what you have known to be dangerous like these goon guys he has a fucking like ski mask on he probably has a mace on him sure avoid these people like you know this strategy is just it's mainly for your average joe i mean if someone looks somewhat dangerous he might not actually be but if you know like damn well okay this guy's probably fucking someone you don't want to deal with go ahead like i'm not saying go go okay just fucking days off run in the flowers and just like you know don't care about the snakes that might bite you it's fine, I mean, you just wanna go ahead and use this on the average Joe. Constantly we judge these average Joes that I'm speaking of 
and it just makes us not open to hearing what they have to offer. Now, when you use this strategy, it will enable you to focus solely on what truly matters and what matters to you. Just focus on yourself, your own work, your own doings. When you're constantly anxious thinking about and judging people, oh, he's doing this, he's, yeah, he's probably, yeah, who cares about this guy? You know, he's, he's a fucking loser, right? He probably plays Roblox all day or some shit. You don't get to focus on the present, on your own thoughts and feelings, what is actually going on your life. You can't develop yourself when you're just anxious and whatever about just people around you. This will enable you to focus on yourself. No thoughts about that guy, this guy, oh, maybe he's probably doing something right now. He's probably looking at me thinking I'm weird. No thoughts about other people. No judging. Yeah, this guy's probably a loser. He probably doesn't even work out. He probably doesn't... You're only able to just focus on yourself. No anxious thoughts about the scary guy walking in the gym. He's looking all mad and shit like as if the sun is fucking blinding his eyes. Just on yourself and your own development. You're not gonna have any attraction or repulsion to certain people. You're just gonna be non-biased and you're gonna be able to, literally, like I said, you're just gonna focus on yourself, man. And that's the only thing that matters. When you're constantly chasing or looking what other people think and whatever, whatever people, what do you think about this person, that person, and assumptions that are useless. It's just gonna hold you back and waste time and enable you to not put all your max effort into what matters. And like I said, it'll make you more open-minded. When you have no assumptions, no judgments, you're not going, oh yeah, this guy, yeah, he's, he's probably smarter, this guy, he's, small, he's bigger, he's smaller than me. So you're open-minded to speak to these people. You open yourself to new ideas. Hey, that small guy, maybe you look down upon him, you shouldn't. You're judging this person for what he looks like. You look down upon him, you shouldn't be. He might be, he might have something to offer you. He might have new ideas, he might actually be smart, he might be a really good person that you ought to know. So just refrain from judging them. You don't know if this person is bad or not until you actually get to know this person and the only way you can get to know them is if you set aside your judgment, make the means to go get to know them. So just be humble. I mean, don't judge anyone. Look at everyone as your superior in some way. So I like this. I think, I'm not sure what this quote is from, but look at everyone. Everyone is your superior in some way. So you can learn anything. You can learn at least something from someone. If you look at yourself as on the level as everyone else, this person's not smaller than you. This person's not bigger than you. You're able to learn from everyone and everyone has something to offer you. But you have to reserve your judgment to witness that. Right, I never used to do this. There was this guy who was quite small. He didn't look have much muscle or anything, but he actually had been going to the gym for a while. He actually had been developing himself, but I didn't know that. I just kind of assumed of him as, you know, your typical degen. I mean, sure, he probably had some degenerate attributes to him, but I didn't look at him as someone that I could learn from. So I always wasn't open-minded to that. When I realized I actually got to know him, I talked to him a bit. There are a lot of things that he offers. I mean, he talked about, yeah, he's actually developing himself. He's trying this affiliate marketing. He's trying all these things. I was asking him a few questions. I was able to learn from this guy. And it's weird because if I had just not judged him in the first place, it maybe it would have just came a lot easier. You know, it took a long time to actually hear that and get to know this guy. If you've been meditating for a while, you probably know that you're supposed to reserve your judgment towards the thoughts that you get while you're meditating. But do you know why this is? Well, it's just because you don't want to get emotionally attached to these feelings. Just, you know, so you can stay in this calm mind, put yourself back to the present. When you're actively getting anxious, emotionally attached, like starting to fantasize, dwell on the thoughts that you're getting. That's when you're put out of the world that you're in right now, the present and you start getting these feelings that put you out of this calmful state. It teaches you how to acknowledge thoughts without being consumed by them. And this way you're able to reach inner calm. So why just do this with meditation, with our thoughts? Let's apply this to the real world, with people, anyone, anything. Don't get emotionally attached to these things. Don't judge people. Don't look at people as you know, assuming things, you know, don't, don't assume things about people. If you want to reach inner calm, if you want to focus back on the present moment, focus back on your work, you know, on yourself, then don't be busy thinking about others. Don't be thinking, oh yeah, 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 he probably plays real life. Look at how small he is, look at his skinny little 
or yeah, I'll probably beat his ass. Why? Dude, why? Just literally focus on yourself. Don't judge people, and I promise that it will make you far more productive, far more successful, open-minded to ideas from anyone. So this one's more of a shorter video. If you think what I shared was valuable to you, consider subscribing. Actually, don't consider it. Probably just do it. Uh, you know, you could be one of the first few subscribers that I get, and you know, I'll be able to provide more value for you for free. So yeah, do that, like the video, whatever.